Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. You were too weak, too selfish, to destroy the Forge. Now our Empire, our people, shall rise again! Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Next up, is your Kodak <sighs> device making you sick? A new study. Eight or nine rounds, then we find uh, Hall. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. I'll see if that drink maker can pour something stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. You are the Star-Lord that's caused nothing but trouble for Allah. Are you not? I need your help. Look, I... my... my name is Baldin, son of Hala the Accuser. You've seen what my mother is capable of, the weapon she now has in her possession. You want to stop her, right? Let us work together. No more people have to die. It could be advantageous for everyone. Don't ignore me. Put the drink down! I risked my life. Risked treason to my people, I... Just so I could find you and stop my mother from destroying our... Ho, ho, ho! You guys having a party and it didn't invite me? Rocket, this is Baldin. Hala's son. He wants to help us. Wait, wait, wait. Hala's freaking son? No, I'm not buying it. The Kree, who've been trying to kill us, need I remind you. Don't just offer their help. Not to us, at least. Trust me, he isn't some evil mastermind. He seems really nervous. Yeah, you know who else gets really nervous? People who got something to hide. But you know, he's probably got valuable intel on Hala. If we knew he was telling the truth. Uh, maybe I should just go. I'm sorry that I bothered you. Whoa, 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 not so fast. You're not going anywhere. Friend. Rocket? What are you- Hang tight, Pete. I'll be back in a jiff. Mantis? Groot? Sorry that took so long. She, uh, wasn't too keen on coming back here. Mantis will be able to tell if the kid's lying or not. This is why you dragged me back? You said it was life or death. 
I am You broke. just want to use my powers as some sort of lie test. I don't have to put up with this. Come on, Groot. Let's go. I know you're upset, Mantis, but please. We need your help. Help you with what? Interrogating a very frightened Kree? I don't think so. This isn't just some random Kree. This is Hala's son. I am Groot? Your mother is very mean. Okay, I'll help. But I'm doing this for the galaxy, not for you. Fine. I'll ask the questions, you just tell me if he's lying or not. Oh, are you done talking about me like I'm not here? Not that being treated like I'm invisible is anything new. Drop the attitude, man. You're already on thin ice, and I can make this a whole lot worse for you. My friend Mantis here is an empath, which means she'll know if you're lying, so... <laughs> tell the truth. Why did you come here? It is as I said before. I came here to stop my mother and save my people. The Kree have a mistaken view on superiority. If we were truly great, we would lead by example, not by force. Well, I'll be damned. I've seen it all. A pacifist Kree. Wow, look at you. Truly an original. I bet you are a real hit at Kree parties. Not particularly, no. My people, they just need new leadership. <laughs> and it sounds like you've got someone in mind for the job. Oh, I had never really considered it. Maybe you didn't understand what I said before. I know you're lying, so don't screw with me. Okay, okay. Maybe I have considered it. But I... I'm not sure I am fit to be a leader. It's hard to tell between the fear and shame, but I think he's telling the truth. I know, as long as Hala continues to lead the Kree, they will never change. And I... I can't help but feel responsible. My mother... She wasn't always like this. She used to be different. I am Groot. I don't believe you. You're not telling me everything. Okay, so she was always like this. But she didn't kill without reason. She's changed. I have a proposition. I am Hala's only child. If she thinks you are keeping me hostage, it would emotionally compromise her. She'll become careless. It could give you the advantage you need to defeat her, freeing the Kree from her rule. All I ask in return for my cooperation is when the time comes, you must promise to spare her life. This is mounds upon mounds of crap. He just wants to use us so he can rule the Kree himself. Please, there has been enough death. I am Groot. We've already got him as bait. We don't need to take his deal. Couldn't you use him as an ally? Okay. You got a deal. You help us take down Hala, and we promise to keep her alive. Thank you, Star-Lord. Your word is your bond. As is mine. I'm still gonna be sleeping with one eye open. I just want a new path forward for my people. Don't even think about making trouble for us. Let's take a walk back to the ship, pal. But even with Baldin's help, do we still have a chance? Hala is armed with a devastating weapon, combined with the forge. There's no stopping her. I am Groot. Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It's not too late for us to change. Come on, Groot, help me out here. Hmm. I am Groot.
What is it? Man, I'm innocent. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. You would hardly be satisfying, though. I am Groot. And I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated! You had a weapon, and I did not. You take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off! All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me... Star-Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Especially you. Hmm. I am Groot. I don't know. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. Uh. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. Don't you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever going to see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I don't need to hear about your ass muscles. It was the rodent who first mentioned it. I am Groot. I'm sorry. Do you want to go to prison? I am already in a prison. But perhaps you are right, Mustache Man. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, you're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction, so that, uh, knife lady can kick the guard- Huh? 
I'm not gonna lie. A couple of you might die. But know that I will never forget you. Or... We could just use the keycard. I love this tree. I think this... It's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Escape! You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship, but escape will do. together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense. Yeah, it was all the mustache. Peter, I don't think that's it. I don't know, Mantis. I, I really think it was the mustache. It was not the mustache. We've all forgotten how much we need each other. But we can still be like that again. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. Then let's go get them back. I am Groot! I am Groot! I see you three to show up. Okay, just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! Where, uh... Where are we? You and I have merged minds. This is inside my mind. It... Seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before, and you didn't die or anything. This is amazing! I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Well, I'm just happy that uh, you're happy, Mantis. I am happy! Isn't this so neat? This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now, in order to find her. We'll need to build a bridge. A... Uh, bridge? Yes. A bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. Yeah, uh... I don't get it. But I'm willing to go along with it. My abilities as an empath will allow me to translate your emotional connection to the Guardians into a physical connection. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Whoa, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. Who's gonna keep us from falling apart? You're doing well, Pete. 
Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. Yes, Peter? So is this what your mind's like all the time? Not always. Sometimes I can create my own little world to live in. I come here whenever I feel overwhelmed. I've been able to hone my powers during the centuries I was imprisoned. It was my only refuge during those times of darkness. This is my chance, Peter. So? This is my chance. What do I do now? Each memory, each emotion, will help build a bridge. You should gather more memories until we can find a path across. Hey, I'm... Sorry we made you feel uncomfortable before. I didn't mean to cause you any pain. Thank you, Peter. I know I said some things I regretted as well. But everything's going to work out. I know it. Okay. Gotta keep feeling stuff. Good luck. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You... You can sense Drax, but... Drax is dead. I... can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? We're gonna sell Thanos' body! We're gonna sell Thanos' body! We're gonna sell Thanos' body! because of you, Peter. This is my hour of honor. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. This is very unsettling, but please keep trying. You're doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so... deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I... As purpose once again. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. It seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. the bridge. <laughs> Makes sense. Rocket's been here the whole time. In spite of everything you've been through, Rocket cares about you a great deal. He must really value your friendship to remain at your side. 
I'm glad he stuck around. He's a good friend. I suspect that is why he stayed. He knows how well you two get along. How much you need each other. So, I know where Rocket is. But what's with all these other light orb thingies? They represent your feelings, Peter. You should explore them. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her. been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? It's where her and Nebula still got along before... Well, before they didn't. Maybe the place reminds her of her sister. She must feel so lonely. Okay. So, I know where Gamora is, but there's still more of these emotion orb things. somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. What does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! That's literally what he wanted! If that's true, I can't imagine he'll be very happy now. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can. Uh, thanks. Guess I'll take that as a compliment. You should, because you are so emotionally inept. Yeah, I get it, Mantis. Thank you for clearing that up. So, I guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Let's go grab Drax. Let's go! What about that giant, creepy worm thing? If it's still alive, I'm getting the hell out of town. Don't worry. 
If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. That was... You came out of it! Like you were inside it, and then you, you came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill? <sighs> you have no idea how relieved I am. I mean, I thought I'd never see you again. Yes, the reasonable conclusion when I leapt from the ship would be that I perished. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos. I don't know. Maybe this means that you moved on from your loss. If that is true, then it is as I had feared. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kamaria. I think I am... Afraid that with each passing moment, our memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I do not know how to proceed. You're going through some really heavy stuff, Drax. It's okay to be afraid. I have never faced a problem like this. One I could not simply kill. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try. For someone who says he wants to die, you suck at it. Like, I don't know what to tell you, Trax. Maybe, uh, maybe you're just invincible. Of course. I must be invincible! But this only makes things worse. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family I know we aren't blood, Drax. And I know we can't replace Kamaria. But the Guardians are your family now. And we need you. Here. Perhaps you are right. If I die now, I would leave you with the same loss I feel for Kamaria. Death can wait. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Hey, it might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. <laughs> Most of that garbage is yours, Peter. Expecting any calls today? Star Lord, you must know why I am contacting you. Admit it. Admit what you have done. Oh, I get it. 
You're attracted to me, aren't you? Don't worry. It happens. A lot. Do not be vulgar. You have taken Baldin hostage, and I want him back. I do not know how you did it, but I want him back now! Oh no, you're not getting off that easy. You're attracted to me. Just admit it. There is nothing to admit. Mother! Well, look who it is. Please, Mother. Just do as they ask. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him in any way, I will repay it one thousandfold to you. Well, that all depends on you. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your son... No one threatens me! I just did. You are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have always heard of the insolence of human beings, but meeting them in person is infinitely worse. I understand now why many have attempted to destroy your planet. <sighs> that felt good. I... I can't believe you hung up on her. I've always wanted to do that. You're unbelievable, Quill. I know my mother. She'll be setting a course for nowhere right now. None of your friends or associates are safe. Even your home worlds could be at risk. I fear she cannot be stopped. If you don't stand against her, no one will. We've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with her before and we can do it again. And this time, we'll win. If she's coming from nowhere, we've got to hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? I'm sure I'll think of something in the moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Whoa, whoa, there is no need for violence here, okay? Let's just... let's just talk it out. I've said enough! <laughs> whoa! You said you'd keep everyone together! <laughs> Hala is more powerful than ever. Drax isn't dead! What? <sighs> Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? I was working up to it! Work up to it faster next time. He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! He killed that space worm, and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his... well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What?! Ah! I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. I thought you'd be happy! I am happy! Are you sure? You're yelling! Ugh. It's just... So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something, anything, at least some semblance of remorse. You're asking if I feel bad? Of course I feel bad! Then why won't you show it? Hey, what do you want from me? You want me to wander around crying? That isn't my style, Gamora. You shrug through 
everything free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. I've run out of chances to help Nebula. To get through to her. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. You were as much of a victim as Nebula was. But Thanos is to blame. Not you. Thanos may have given the order, but the blade was in my hand. Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain, Drax revels in his rage, but I don't know how to get past it. All the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. Well, no matter how much it hurts, we have to soldier on. Our job is to make sure the good outweighs the bad. If that's the job, I failed long ago. I don't even know why you bothered coming here. Gamora, I came here because I... Because I missed you. Peter, I... I missed you too. I close my eyes at night and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl. Unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You're the strongest person I know. You're not that little girl anymore. Right. You're right. Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration, or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. Like this. <laughs> but seriously, his pain must have been tremendous. Yep. Definitely the same old tracks. Absence does make the heart grow fonder. Unfortunately. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. <laughs> Look at you, Peter. Somehow, you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Heh, <laughs> good times. Thanks, guys. For coming back. I know we've all been through a hell of a lot together. Now, I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... <laughs> things have turned into a galactic war zone out there. Yes. Hala has begun killing innocent people to resurrect her army. And she's coming after us next. Hala has the Forge, her son, and an unlimited army. Yet she still considers us a threat? Actually, that's... that's a long story. Baldin, come say hi. Hello. You have taken her son prisoner! <laughs> You are not the pathetic warrior I so often think you to be. I was not kidnapped. I am here to help. Baldin is here to help us. He's a good guy. He promised to play bait for us to lure out Hala. Whatever stops her from what she's about to do. The killing. It can't go on like this. This does give us emotional leverage. 
but we still have not gained any tactical advantage since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on a ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hala's ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Lattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. Mm. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm. How'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. Drax, <laughs> you are a beast. I can't believe you did all that. I agree. It was quite impressive. Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged, moist, reeking, victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. Later, Drax. What happens later? Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. I meant what I said. Every word. I know. And it means a lot to me. So, what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. So, um, I think that we should, you know, maybe talk. Just to talk about, you know, <laughs> you... 
Me. <laughs> I mean, I just care for you. A lot. I know. Oh, you, you do? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so... How do you feel? Peter, I... Yeah, I, I uh, just, um... Maybe... Uh, yeah, psh, <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, just... That's the, that's the pin going in the, uh, yeah. Just for later. It's amazing how much I miss the stars. Being trapped in a sarcophagus for so long. Star-Lord, I was hoping you might come by. I was ruminating on what you said earlier. Do you believe I could be a good leader? For the Kree? Level-headed guy like you? Yeah. I think you'd make a great leader. Kree could certainly use it. Thank you, Star-Lord. I... Maybe I can reinvent the reputation of my people. It's just... I've been thinking about it for some time. And perhaps it's not as ridiculous an idea as I originally thought. I know this is a touchy subject. It happened to me too. But how did you die? Oh, uh, well, years ago I worked at a reactor, mining and producing energy for my mother's war effort. There was an accident. As far as I know, no one made it out. My mother is different now. I don't even recognize her anymore. We didn't really get to know each other that well. Tell me about yourself. There's not much to tell. I am Hala's only child. Other than that, there is nothing very interesting about me. You know, for a Kree, you're... you're pretty different. I'll admit. Most Kree are zealots, raised on the ideology that war and revolution are the only way to get things done. My mother taught me differently. She used to believe in reason and compromise before battle, but now I'm probably a disappointment to her. Oh, come on, that can't be true. I mean, you gotta have, like, some kind of hobby. I dedicated most of my youth to studying Cree history, as well as galactic law, science, and philosophy. Does that count as a hobby? Oh my god, you are a total nerd. I think that's fascinating, Baldin. Oh, thank you, Mantis. I gotta go. See you around. Peter, hello. I've been telling Baldin all about you. About me? I was just telling him how you rescued me from being held as prisoner back at Emnios, how your feelings guided you to my tomb, and you pried me from my stone prison. I must admit, I did not think you were capable of such chivalry. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Peter is one of the most heroic people I know. Is that so? Well, you know what they say about heroes. We're always there to lend a hand. <laughs> you sound like a Nova Corps recruitment poster. So, you and Baldin seem to be getting along. I was trapped for years in a sarcophagus, and Baldin has been, well, dead. It's nice to be able to relate to someone and have shared life experience. Well, that is adorable. It's, it's not like that. I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. 
Once this is all over, what are you going to do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe I'd like to travel. There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I am Groot. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't stuck. I was just waiting for my dramatic entrance. <laughs> I am Groot. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself who still might very well kill us, slowly and agonizingly. But you know, baby steps. Taking down her gun sounds like explosions might be involved. Are explosions involved? Maybe. Right, so far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay, so lay it on me. What do you want to know? Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody charged up the Eternity Forge, all those dead Kree are now alive Kree, and will need to be dealt with. Big ol' hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kinda like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this, these points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Guess someone got careless. We're gonna have to teach him a lesson. Yeah, and I got just the guy for the job. Wait, what, <laughs> me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. And, uh, 
Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Ah, this is my favorite kind of plan. It's got all the adjectives. Mine too. No, oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. Or if it's on her head, right out from above her nose. You're joking. Please tell me you're joking. Not this time. I know I got a record for pulling your leg, but we're actually gonna need that helmet. All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Yeah, and if all that don't work, guess we'll just have to resurrect this guy and have him chop Hollis' ships to pieces. <laughs> Good one. That could actually work. If the forge contains enough power, and if we could reacquire it, well, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll call that plan B. When in doubt, let magic save the day. You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... Mm. I am Groot. Yeah, me too. Hey, Pete. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I was glad to have you at my side when everything was going wrong. I don't need you getting mushy on me, too. Groot already fills that role nicely. But you're welcome. Are you sure this plan is gonna work? Nope. But I'm okay with that this time. You guys got my back, and that's all I need. You and Groot make up? Is the Dream Team back together? Yeah, we sat down and talked it out. I think we both said stuff we regretted. But we're good now. I am Groot. <laughs> Back at you, buddy. I've got a roll in mind for you, Rocket. Oh, yeah? I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm hmm. <laughs> I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his feelings? That actually worked? I am Groot. <laughs> Good one. I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. You're going to be on protection duty. <laughs> I am Groot. Good call, Quill. Groot's always had my back, and I ain't even been shot once. Not once! See you around, buddy. I am Groot. It is strange to have so many on the Milano now. Worried that you're gonna be replaced? You seem different from the other Guardians. Good different? Or bad different? Good different. We're going to attack the Revenant. There's a lot to do, so I need to divide up the roles. I think this fight is meant for the Guardians. I'll stay on the Milano and keep Baldin safe. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. Hey, Drex. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I just gotta divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. We need someone to cause a distraction in the main hall and keep the Kree at bay. You think you can handle that? <laughs> My friend, if you need Kree to be killed, I will gladly kill them for you. Because I am invincible, nothing will stand in my way. Later, Drax. What happens later? So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? 
You're sneaky. So, why don't you stealth down there and steal Hala's helmet? Her helmet? All right. Sounds like a challenge. Leave it to me, Peter. Pete, looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hala's face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. We're still here, aren't we? That means something's working. I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill spot. I mean, look at Rocket. Damn it. I should not have drawn attention to myself. What should I be looking at? Is there something stuck in his fur? Or his little pebble teeth? You want me to stick something somewhere? I'll go get my gun. He absolutely loves to shoot things. Nothing gets past this guy without a hole in it. He's crazy for it. Yeah, well, we all got hobbies. Oh, Peter, over here. It's me, Drax, the Destroyer. I volunteer to go next. Oh, I could never forget you, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. <laughs> oh, this should be enjoyable. A perfect murdering machine who, despite all odds, has become more bloodthirsty than ever before. You... You are too kind, Peter. I am getting emotional. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter... The most skilled warrior I've ever seen. And I've seen Schwarzenegger, Stallone, and Chan kick ass six ways from Sunday. Thank you, I think. I didn't understand any of those things you just said. Uh, and what about Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. Our newest and most peculiar friend. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Drax. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. We're survivors. No matter what life throws our way, we persevere. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired! Then let's rock and roll.
Peter, before you came back for me, I was ready to give up on the Guardians, because I thought you already had. Thanks for proving me wrong. That is a lot of ships. Here's hoping everything works out. We deserve it happening to us at least once. I've got your back, Gamora. Good. I've got yours, too. Look sharp, guys. Holla's coming in hot. I am Groot. No, I ain't a traitor. It's a phrase. You know, like, she's right on top of us. I am Groot. Yeah, that does sound worse. Hang on. Rubble coming your way. I'm... I'm almost to the... the computer. I am Groot. Hey, exercise is hard for me, okay? Will, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. Guys, how's it going in there? I'm all hacked in. Plus an added bonus. Her computer's now transmitting some of your music to the entire ship. They're hearing that trash over there in the car. <laughs> okay, Pete, you're good to go. Eject it and plant the bomb. One down. Star Lord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Ah, uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Gotta hurry. If they fire that weapon now, I'm host. Whoa! I think I just saw Nebula run by. If Nebula's here, leave her to me. How's that protection going, Groot? I am Groot! Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Hanging up now. in there, Peter. I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. I have not forgotten. There is an intercom button here. I shall press it. Greetings to all pathetic Kree warriors on this ship. This is Drax the Destroyer. I am waiting for you in the main hallway. Please come see me immediately. Peter, I believe I have gotten their attention. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention. Once one of the Kree fires that weapon, the whole ship's gonna go, holy crap, that's a huge explosion. Uh, yeah, I think that distraction worked a little too well. There are no more Kree on the bridge. What? Looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then. Do I have to do everything myself? I managed to get the helmet. Now what, Rocket? Launch it out an airlock. Wait a minute. You never actually needed the helmet, did you? Nope! But now Holla's gonna be looking for it, and it'll be spinning through space. <laughs> Rocket. What? Oh, come on! I am 
through. What do you mean Holla's heading for the bridge? Hey Pete, you better get ready. Here we go. How do you like that? This ends now. Bring it. I am great. Nice one. I do not need a weapon to kill you. Do you not see? This is the end. Everything you have done is futile. Admit it. You have been defeated! Where's Gamora? Gamora? Nebula, you have nothing to gain by aligning with Hala. As soon as you're no longer useful, she'll cast you aside. You mean like you did? I used to look up to you. I wanted to be just like you. You are nothing like me. And there she is, the deadliest woman in the galaxy. You were always his favorite, the best assassin Thanos ever trained. So prove it. Get away from me! I'd rather die than be saved by you! 
Don't be ridiculous. What part of I'd rather die did you not understand? You just can't help yourself, can you? You just have to be a hero! I used to think you were so strong, but you're not. Your emotions make you weak! I can't believe I ever looked up to you. Loving someone isn't weakness, Nebula. It's strength. Gamora? And I love you. There you are! What the hell did you do? I didn't do anything! I am broke! It is not over! Thanks for wanting to do this, baby. Can't imagine being in some sterile hospital. I'm missing out on this view. I'm really gonna miss this. Screw that place. They don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Sometimes what the body needs and what the soul needs are very different things. You, me, the stars. This is my happy place. Hey, you may want to build it back up a bit. Can I use the lighter fluid? <laughs> Come on. That's for amateurs. Don't let it burn out. Hey, how else are we gonna roast marshmallows? <laughs> That's one way to do it. My goal is fire. I give you fire. <laughs> You're lucky you still got your eyebrows. Fire's... Fire's looking low, hon. You wanna build it back up a bit? What are you trying to say? The fire... <laughs> Look how... low... it is. That's strange, I... I could've sworn I... Mom! I... I, I shouldn't have brought you out here. I just wanted one last weekend with you. It was reckless. I wasn't thinking straight. No matter what happens, I'm glad we came. I'm sorry, Peter. I just didn't want you to forget who I really was. I don't want you to remember me like that, okay? I'm still me. You'll always be my mom. I could never forget that. I love you. Now, why don't you build up that fire a little bit, huh? It's starting to get low. Mom.
feel so alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where... This is not over. Oh my god! How are you not dead yet? I will gladly fix that! Where is my son? I'm right here. Baden! It would bring me immense joy to spill your son's blood. I find his attitude incredibly irksome. Well, look at that timing. So, you gonna drop your weapon or what? Dust! You may have destroyed my ship and stolen the Eternity Forge, but I still have my armada surrounding us. Unless you have a weapon that can destroy all of them, I still have the advantage. Serious. For once, he does not look like he is joking. Well, that's where you're wrong, Hala. I do have a super weapon. <laughs> where? You're standing inside it. Accuser! The Celestial! It seems to be reacting. What are your orders? Continue firing! against me. He has forgotten what it means to be Kree. Me? I am thinking clearly. You are out of control. There would be no glory for the Kree Empire if we are all dead. I didn't have to turn Baldin against you. You did that all by yourself. Harmed him? I saved him. I have revived our civilization from the ashes, and I will lead them to glory once again. We were born into war. We are not afraid of one Celestial. Star-Lord, listen to me! Let me lead the Kree instead! You... lead the Kree? Don't be ridiculous, Baldin. You are much too naive. Under my rule, the Kree would have a chance at normal lives, instead of being in perpetual war! War is normal! It is in the blood of all beings, whether they admit it or not. Death only brings more death. I am broke. Your weakness will corrupt our people and lead to their downfall. I am not weak! Everyone deserves a second chance, and that starts with Baldin. He should lead the Kree. <sighs> Thank you. How dare you! I refuse to hand my title over to a child! The thought is preposterous! Surely letting me take command of the Kree is preferable to our extinction! This is the deal, Hala. Step down, or watch an angry celestial head obliterate your armada. Take it or leave it. You know the consequences. I mean... If you're really curious, you can see how forgiving I am if you don't surrender. I hope... I am wrong about you, Star-Lord. You have my surrender. This is Hala, the Accuser. All ships stand down. I have surrendered my title to my son, Baldin. He shall lead the Kree. How is that? Cease fire! All ships, stand down! You had the power to eliminate all Kree, but you showed mercy instead. I will not forget this. 
I know I have no right to ask for one more favor, but I would like to take my mother into custody. You do not give the spoils of war back to the defeated! She must face justice for her crimes. Do what you will. It does not matter to me anymore. I have lost. The judgment is yours. Please, she is one of our own. My first order as leader will be to see her punished. To show everyone that war is not our future. And those who seek to continue fighting will not be tolerated. You can have her. Just see to it that her sentence fits her crime. I will. Thank you. My people owe you a great debt they can never repay. <sighs> it would be a long road. But I will show the galaxy that the Kree can be trusted from now on. Not feared. Hey. You just stay out of trouble, all right? We will. For generations, my people will tell the legend of what happened this day. She looked so... broken. Lost. We did the right thing, didn't we? We saved lives, Gamora. If we hadn't done what we did, a lot more innocent people would be dead right now. You're right. I think I could use a drink. I am rude. Yeah. Let's go. Hello? You guys still open? If there's booze on the shelf, they're open. Uh, hey! Can I come out now? Is it over? Yes, you can stop cowering like a baby. And we're all pretty thirsty. I know now isn't the best time, but uh, you still haven't paid your tab. Are you kidding me? Hey, guy's gotta pay the bills. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Dude, come on. We just saved your life. I mean, we just saved your bar. We saved the galaxy. Pick one. Any of those should more than pay our debt. You're right. You're right. Consider your tab forgotten. I'll start you a new one right now. <laughs> what is this? It tastes terrible. I... <laughs> Them Groot? <laughs> it's kind of an acquired taste. You get used to it eventually. I don't think I want to acquire a taste for this. Alright. Fill her up. Actually, the forge is already full. There's still a charge in it. But its power is fading. It can only be used for... One more revival. I'm sorry. It won't be able to bring back all your loved ones. I am Groot. Groot says you should use the forge for your mom. I am Groot. Since you got us back together. <laughs> I am Groot. You made us a... Oh man, he's using the F word again. Family. Wait, <laughs> what about you guys? 
and you all lost someone close to you. The forge was severely damaged when you crashed the Revenant into nowhere. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I'm not sure I need it anymore. Then again, Drax lost his daughter. Seems pretty important to bring her back. What about Lila? You loved her. Guess I'm done being the selfish one. Really, Drax, it should be you! It should be you! After everything we've been through, are we seriously still arguing? No, we're just agreeing strongly. This is an anti-argument. I just got one of those voices that always sounds like I'm angry. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. There isn't much time left. The forge is... dying. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I think we should resurrect Lila. Pete, you don't have to... I want to, Rocket. You can show her the sun anytime she likes. I am Groot. <laughs> oh man, I'm... Now I'm feeling stuff. You, you guys... You guys are the best friends I could ask for. But don't you dare tell anyone I said that. Take my hand. I want you to think of your fondest memory of Lila. The moment when you two were happiest. Lady. Rocket? Rocket! I missed you so I... much. I don't understand. The last time I saw you, I was... You're free now. We both are. Huh? And nobody's gonna hurt you ever again. Forge no longer holds any power over me. I don't know what to do now that I am finally free of it. My life was so entwined with its purpose. With it gone, I feel okay. I am no longer overwhelmed by the emotions of others. I can feel only what I want to. Feel my own emotions for once. We could always use an empath on the team. Why don't you join the Guardians? Officially. Really? Definitely. Thank you, Peter! It will be nice to have a home instead of a box. My head finally feels... clear. Thank you, Peter. For all you've done. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together, after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts. Oh, daily doubts. I honestly couldn't count them all. But somehow, you pulled us through. Oh, I had my doubts along the way, too. It's okay to doubt yourself, so long as you keep going. You did, and here we all are. How about a refill? My hero. Hey, you two seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening. I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. 
I like that. No one should have to be afraid anymore. We won't be. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. Two vacations! I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To new friends. Everything's better with you guys here. You can't see it under my fur, but I am blushing. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Eh, the galaxy can wait. Yeah, we gotta have a real celebration. For once. This intoxicating fluid has made me want to fight things. Please, let me fight things! <laughs> I am Groot! Now, where were we?
Start spoiling the show 